delicious with jam and cream. Or cream and jam, but you know, we'll go there another time. But never mind eating them, how do you pronounce them? Is it scone or is it scone? It's usually thought that scone, to rhyme with bone, is for posh people, while scone, as in gone, is for commoners. But according to a 2016 survey, those in the UK's middle and upper classes actually went for scone by a margin of 55 to 40. The other 5%, by the way, said they didn't know. They were obviously too busy stuffing their mouths. Those in the lower social classes were much more evenly split. In fact, it's more likely to be influenced by where you're from. The UK as a whole favours scone, but the Midlands, London and the east of England, a not insignificant chunk of people there, buck the trend. In Scotland, though, a whopping 80% of people plumped for scone, and that is interesting. But why is Scotland interesting, I hear you ask? Well, let's bite into a bit of history. Back in the 16th century, it was the Scots, probably like this lot, who invented the scone we know and love. And it was said to be based on an old Dutch bread called, wait for it, scone brot. Yes, that's right, scone brot. So the old Scots might have called these scones. And maybe that's the true pronunciation. Although frankly, this whole argument is jam-packed with confusion. So who to give the final word to? Well, how about the Queen herself? The queen of baking, that is, a young Mary Berry. And here's what she says. Scum. So there you have it. You know, we did have an answer to this argument, but, nah, scum. <laughs>